Hello friends, welcome back to Font Fully. So recently we received many requests for ITIL framework. So we are covering uh, introductory part in this video and in upcoming videos we will cover their manuals in details. So let's get started. So ITIL framework stand for Information Technology Infrastructure Library is a comprehensive framework offering best practice guidelines for end-to-end -end service management. Encompassing people, process, products, and partnership, ITL serves as holistic approach to service management. Widely adopted across various industries, ITL, ITL is integral to companies delivering IT services to their customers. The process, task, and checklist outlined in ITIL are not specific to any organization, allowing for universal implementation. ITIL equips organizations with a structured framework to plan, implement, and evaluate IT services effectively. The evolution of ITIL versions. So ITIL has evolved through various versions, each refining and expanding its framework for IT service management. First version is ITIL V1. It was originated in late 1980s, comprising 31 books, became a global standard for IT service management, provided a standardized approach for IT service delivery, encompassing planning, management, operation, optimization, and review. So ITIL V1 goals was promote consistency and quality across the IT project lifecycle. Next version is ITIL V2, introduced in 2000, incorporating Microsoft Operation Framework Foundation to simplify it from 30 volumes to 9 categories. Main changes from V1 to V2 is enhanced governance and management board roles, integrated service management tools, focus on integral service delivery improvements, and emphasis on flexible working arrangements. Is ITIL V3, published in 2007, emphasizing IT business integration around service lifecycle structure, revised in 2011 by XLOs to resolve inconsistencies and error, introduced new processes for process improvement, change management, and service delivery, and contains 26 processes and function into five volumes. This version is ITIL V4. Released in 2019, focusing on collaborative IT environments and aligning with agile DevOps and lean methodologies. Core processes are service design, delivery, change, maintenance, and analytics. Aims to provide a consistent way for IT organization to manage business value delivery. It includes additional best practices for improving service quality and efficiency. So next we will see benefits of implementing ITIL. So ITIL provides a structured framework for managing IT services, ensuring that they are delivered efficiently and effectively. By following ITIL practices, organization can better understand customer needs, address issues promptly, and improve overall service quality, leading to increased confidence and satisfaction. First is IT and business strategic planning. So ITIL helps align IT strategies with business objective by providing guidance on how IT services can support and contribute to achievement of the organization's goals. Second is integration and alignment of IT and business goals. So ITL promotes integration and alignment between IT and business function, ensuring that IT services are developed and managed in a way that supports broader business objectives. ITIL emphasizes the importance of continual improvement, encouraging organization to regularly review and refine their IT process and services. Next is demonstration of business value to IT. ITL enables IT departments to demonstrate the value they provide to the business by quantifying the impact of IT services on organizational success. Next is improvement of project delivery success. So ITL improves project delivery success by providing structured process, clear roles and effective communication channels for managing IT projects. Management of constant business and IT change. So ITIL equips organizations to manage constant business and IT change by providing frameworks and methodologies for handling change effectively. By establishing change management process, organization can assess the impact of changes. Next is development of business and IT partnership and relationships. So ITIL foster collaboration and partnership between IT and other business function, helping to build stronger relationship and alignment across the organization. We'll see ITIL core publications. ITIL core publications consist of five manuals, each focusing on specific aspects of IT service management. So, the five manuals are service strategy, service design, service transition, service operation, and continual service improvement. So, in an upcoming video, we will see all the five manuals in detail. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do share and subscribe.